Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the pen tool. Now, a YouTuber asked me to create this video for him, Super Xbox Crazy, if I got that name right. Now, about the pen tool, there are two different factors uh, with it. So, if we go and select the pen tool, you can do this by going to the left hand side or by pressing the P key on your keyboard, which is the shortcut key. Now, if we go to the top after selecting the pen tool, these are two options shapes and paths now I'm going to be splitting these two up into two different tutorials at the moment I'm going to be uh, teaching you the paths option and then later I'm going to be teaching you about the shapes so if we go and select the paths option which is the middle one and now this option here is great for selection now there's so many things you can do with this it's uh, very versatile this option so say if we want to go and select this um, circle right here now if we go and select the top now you've probably already noticed when you went to try and do something like this um, that you probably want to go to the bottom and then try and stretch it out but you're not going to get that curve right now with the pen tool can't work uh, in 180 or 360 degree angles um, it only works in 90 degree angles so if we went here which is roughly 90 degrees and we stretched it out like that now that's perfect line and the curve has perfected to that edge now if we go to the next 90 degree angle now it's going to try and do the curve already for us because of this arm it creates here so we want to get rid of that arm so if we hold down the alt key and then press the middle point in that line it takes that um, path away so it gives us a new selection so we go to do the next 90 degree like that takes a little bit of uh, playing around with to get it right which you'll probably have a lot more time on your hands to do so we go hold down alt key and do that again do the next 90 degree angle like that and hold down the alt key and do the last one like so now that's closed off and we right click it now there are loads of different options for us to make now you've got fill path which if you click that you can change the color of the shape uh, to the foreground color, the background color or press color and you can select the color that you actually want now you can also change it to patterns and stuff like that so depending on your image and if you want to create that sort of thing now if we go right click again you can make selection and you can use feather radius 1 that's what works for me but depending on what sort of thing you're trying to create and stuff like that you want anti aliased or whatever that says ticked on and then click OK now it makes a selection around it now what you can do with this option uh, there are many things you can do you can like change what uh, it's selected change the color even like also like the other one and you can add a lot more effects to this or also you can cut it and change and take it to a different image if you so wanted now if we go back and right click again you can delete the path you can define custom shape which I'll be coming to in the shape tutorial one um, you can create vector mask which is great because vector holds 100% of the um, of the actual picture so it's 100% perfection and there's no distortion or anything in it so which is pretty good and there is stroke path now this one is the most resilient of the options um, as super xbox crazy said about logos now you probably want to be creating shapes and stuff like that and images and all different things like that now this is what I use a lot in doing shapes now the other shape thing is great but if you want to make outlines of shapes and then fill it this is also good and for making pictures now if you when you click this option you've got all different tools you've got pencil um, brush eraser depending on your image if you're trying to take something away this line like that and you've got all the different ones so you can uh, you know swap and change whatever you want like that now if we go to brush 
now this depending on your brush size and the ratio of your page on how big the brush is going to be as it's going to create an outline to the uh, selection that you just did so I've already checked my brush size but maybe you want to check your brush size before you do that then click OK now it's created a line exactly what I said around it now if you wanted to you can go back and make a new layer new blank layer right click do straight path and then click OK go to the move tool and now it's made a outline of that shape which is perfect now you can use this on many different things um, you can even like as I said create objects and stuff like that now this is what I used to create this sort of picture right here Winnie the Pooh now this took a bit of effort um, but at the end of the day you need to make sure that you just keep practicing and practicing you know it's not uh, something like a five second tool that you're going to get perfect that you need to practice that to get to this level sort of thing so if you you know do that now that's what I used to create that just this here I didn't use the shape tool for this because uh, it's not really for that but great anyway now if we go back like that and we've already closed off the uh, lines so it's selected now say if you wanted to go back and you wanted to change uh, the points in it or add more points now you can easily do this by going to the pen tool holding down and you can go to add anchor points so we click that now you can add anchor points to whatever you want in that line and you can change it distort it whatever you, way you want it to go like that so we do that and basically that is a great option as well because if you make a mistake you can easily swap and change it to whatever shape that you so wanted so that is great for also for logos like super xbox crazy that you wanted to do anyway so that's another great option i would totally recommend doing it that way as well because that's the most uh, way i use anyway to do it like i said on this picture here which is pretty easy to create once you know what you're doing and once you've got started so we're going to go on to the shapes tutorial right now so see you in a minute Now that we've done the paths option, we're going to start on the shapes option. So if we go and select the pen tool again and select the first option at the top, which is the shape, not the middle one. So we select that. Now this option here is great for um, creating vector shapes and custom shapes, which like you wanted to do. Now this tool takes a lot of playing around with and it's basically the same sort of things as I said with the pass tool you can do exactly the same things like add anchor points and stuff like that. Now as I said it's going to make a vector shape so that means it's going to be crisp and clear and there's no going to be no distortion because it's going to be 100% um, perfect in the quality as its vector. So if we go and make a shape like that keep doing that now we can create all different sort of shapes now with this sort of thing right here uh, you can so if we go to the add anchor points though we can add anchor points like the other one so do that and we can change the different fields to what we want it to look like stuff like that and we can also if we go underneath the text tool on the left hand side uh, there is a path selection tool and a direct selection tool now the path selection tool selects the whole of the path and the direct selection tool selects the node so if we go and select that one and we can click on the node and we can change what we want it to do so we can change all the way over here make it smaller we can even change the angles like there so it's a really really good tool so it depends on what sort of thing you want to create as I said um, where this I use the stroke path on the paths option 
um, so that's good for creating something like this and then you can fill it in with the different colors that you want to actually fill it in with and this one you can create different shapes so like probably logo sort of uh, icons and stuff like that um, I used to create this sort of picture here now I know this is like a really crap picture at the moment because I just made it up really quick just to show you sort of things you can create with the actual shape option so we take the fire away that sort of thing that would be okay for like a sort of a logo or for on someone's video or something um, obviously not the background but that's just a, just a quick thing to play around with now as I said it does take a lot of effort time um, to play around with and to get used to and to perfect so once you have perfected it you can create sort of things like um, this and other shapes that you actually really want uh, want sorry so it's all the same um, as the paths option really but you get to do a lot more things with this one but I don't use this uh, one as a lot I use the stroke path one more as I think that's a lot more um, useful in what I do and stuff like that and for pictures like this one here so it depends on what you want to do at the time so all I say is play around with it get used to it and hopefully you know you'll create some stunning artwork and stuff like that so I hope you liked the tutorial and please comment rate and subscribe and there's going to be plenty more vids coming uh, so this has been pro show uh, pro photoshop help sorry and I'll see you next time bye for now